All right, so what we're going to do here is find the area under, well, find the area under the curve here, but we're going to find it if we wrap it around the x-axis. So it'd be kind of like out here, and then all this stuff filled in, and like, you know, it's, it's going to be, like if you were to look on top of it, it would kind of look something like this where, you know, it would, it would sink down the middle and the whole thing would be kind of like a, like a ring. All right. So what you do here is the area of anything circular is pi r squared. And then to find the area on the curve, we integrate it. So in this case, it's pi and then the radius is equal to x squared plus one um, squared. So, and then dx or delta x. So what I'm gonna do is uh, multiply this out. So we're gonna integrate, put the constant in front of the integration sign, x to the fourth plus two x to the second, yeah, plus one. So what we end up with after we integrate this is, and we're integrating this from zero to two, um, we get uh, x to the fifth over five plus two x to the third over three plus um, x and we're going from zero to two. So what we do, all right, so finishing in the, this up, so I still have pi on the outside here. So um, inside here, so this becomes 32 over five plus two times 16 over three plus two and then minus um, zero, which zeros across it. It's all zero for um, the zero component. All right, so what we end up with when you combine all these terms is um, when you get a common denominator, it's not the prettiest thing, but we get 206 pi over 15 or approximately, you know, like 43.1. All right, I hope this helps you out. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.